Sorry, didn't know it was live. Hey guys, welcome to a very special squad builder. This is going to be the cheap and most incredible Premier League starter team. This is going to be very fun. The Premier League is one of the best and most fun and popular leagues to use in FIFA. And I'm going to hopefully show you guys one of the best and just insane starter Premier League team. So this is going to be awesome. Starting off in goal in this squad, it's going to be a player that I believe used to be a silver player back in the day. It's going to be Fabianski. This guy is going to be amazing in Ultimate Team. Really good cheap card in the new FIFA. Also, be ready for these player prices. It's going to be very interesting to see how they do. Massive thank you, as always, to EA Sports guys for flying me out to capture this early content for you guys. And it's got me more hyped than ever. Honestly, this is the most hyped I've been ever for an Ultimate Team. And that's saying a lot because FIFA 14 I was very hyped for, especially with the new console. And I'm saying from my heart, man, I'm really excited with all the new objectives. Anyway, Cabasele right there at centre-back. Very, very, very nice non-rare card. Left centre-back, we're going to go with Vallejo right there. 71 pace there. I also wanted to use a starter team for the Premier League that you guys can use and hopefully afford when the game launches that is realistic. I want this to be a realistic start team from the Premier League. So Sidibe, right back there, guys, is the player of choice there. We are now going to use the left-back Kieran Tierney there from Arsenal. I think this guy will be really, really good player for the Gunners in London. I really think he's a shrewd signing, man. I, I like that signing a lot, to be honest. So he has a fantastic FIFA card. I, I mean... Look at those stats. They are phenomenal. That's more like a 79 rated card looking at those stats. Now, although obviously I've got to choose three centre mids here, I did change my mind halfway through capturing this squad builder for you guys. So as you can see, I kind of hesitated there over Fred. And then I end up choosing, uh, yeah, we actually do go with Lamina there from Southampton. Again, very nice non-rare player to begin your ultimate team journey. And by the way, I'm going to do Zero to Hero a lot more this year. I really will. Like last year, I did it more than ever. I did like 60 odd episodes, episodes last year, which I surprised myself with. But I got a good feeling right now that hopefully the gameplay will be fun for me to play a lot of foot champions every weekend league. I didn't do that at all. Like, I stopped at, like, January last FIFA. I didn't enjoy playing Weekend League. So hopefully this FIFA, I will. We then go with Madison, who is just a beast in this FIFA. He'll be really popular to begin. And especially on the web app, beware that some of these player prices, especially like Madison, could be more than obviously when they... Um, well, no, actually, hold on. They'll, they'll get more... They'll get inflated, won't they, when the game comes out? What, what I'm trying to say, ignore that. Anyway, we then have... Maxim in there, who is absolutely wonderful. He is phenomenal. He is my player of this squad. He is the player of the day, player of the month for the best cheap Premier League team. We're then going to use, we're then going to use um, Almiron from Newcastle. And to finish the best cheap Premier League team, we have Callum Wilson, who is superb in ultimate team in FIFA 20 guys he is ridiculously good very strong on the ball got to force our skill moves as well in this FIFA but it's got to be said St. Maximin is just unstoppable he is so amazing so look at how, how amazing this guy is though we're gonna go with him Gabamin from Everton with an outrageous card that is unbelievable so I'm gonna put Gabamin is that how you say his name in the starter team, guys, we're going to put him in. Why not? We're actually going to replace Fred with Gbamin. Yeah, really, really nailing this pronunciation, aren't I? So there you go. There is the new animation there, guys, as you just saw as well for when a player gets deployed into the starting 11. So, yeah, I mean, I cannot seriously praise this card enough. Look how amazing that card is. This is going to be a seriously fun cheap card to use in FIFA like when it comes to December obviously by December this card will be immensely affordable I mean that card will be amazing and it's a great great green link there to Sidibe so I mean I'm in I am just in awe of this cheap 
Premier League team. This would be a fantastic squad. Some of you guys may be like, oh, Matt, why didn't you use Ndombele there from Spurs? Reason being is his card has ridiculous stats. I think his card could be, I mean, I get play it. I'm, what's weird is with me, guys, I seem to be very good at remembering player prices when the game is out. When I'm predicting the starting prices, I, I never really get it right. So in Dombele, for example, I would guess would be like, what, 16, 17K? I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. Anyway, these were the tactics I did use for the cheap Premier League team. Also, comment down below which other squad builders do you guys want to see on the channel. I also will be very very um, much analyzing the new and hopefully biggest upgrades and downgrades. Very excited to see that once we get the full database. Anyway, we are going to use this new tactic, which is attacking support there. Um, sorry, no, it's not. It's a uh, defending. I think it said like drop between defense. I think it's something like that. Or there's a new tactic where you can actually drop your CDMs between like the defenders and midfielders. It's something like that anyway. It may have been dropped between defenders. It's something like that. I'll try and reconfirm that. that. Anyway, it's time to get into the gameplay. Now, there are some skill moves I do which are going to blow your mind as to how powerful they are. But nice play there with Madison. Good save, though. But the gameplay is looking clean, man. It already, just from just watching it, it does look a bit more fresh than FIFA 19. However, I think I was playing either Reeve or Zway or maybe Kazooie in this game, not too sure. Either way, it was actually a really tough game, but it was a very important game as we wanted to get this cheap Premier League team off to a good start. And we do get a penalty. Now, at this point, I did not know how to take penalties, guys, but I wanted to show you how penalties look in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team gameplay. And I think you've got to press shoot, right? And then you've got to press shoot again when that circle... Um, sorry, when you strike the ball. So a bit like time finishing, you want to press B to shoot, then press it again when the player makes a connection with the ball. But however, look at this gorgeous passing here. Now, this is with a cheap Premier League team. I want you guys to take that into consideration. Now, look at this lovely goal. I mean, come on. That is a seriously awesome goal. And that gameplay looked good. So I'm hoping the gameplay in this FIFA man can just be phenomenal i want this fifa to be fun because of gameplay a bit like fifa 14 for me i always harp on about fifa 14 that for me was a gameplay a game where the gameplay was really fun to play so i want that to be the case this fifa so madison right there with the first goal but look at these skills there and look at the agility of say maximum there from arsenal brilliant brilliant guy and look at that goal come on that's a cheap premier league team i am seriously doing well with this squad i want to really really just i honestly may do like a road to glory and try and not spend any points in general this fifa i'm honestly debating it guys because i i feel like that would get a lot more enjoyment out of the game personally but let me know what you think anyway next uh clip there we've got some nice defending and then lamina with a good pass to wilson wilson does like a nice kind of lb rb dribbling then we get the ball back to lamina lamina sees uh wilson now look at this bang get out the way to stegen that is how unbelievably overpowerful overpowerful i'm gonna stick with it overpowerful <laughs> that move is that is the layoff touch is it a layoff touch for god's sake i did a whole tutorial on this anyway it's when you press rb and like kind of move the right stick in the direction that you want to go in i think it's called the layoff touch zaro from ea is gonna really kill me for that anyway Look at that. That is seriously amazing. Is it called the setup touch? I am seriously going to get destroyed in the comments for that. Anyway, great move there by uh, Callum Wilson. Then we get the ball to St. Maxim in here, guys. And again, I mean, look at that. Bang. That was perfection. I really should have scored that. But still, it goes to show how good that guy will be in this FIFA. Hopefully you enjoyed the best cheap Premier League starter team. Hopefully you guys want to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for more. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.